welcome to the Web Fest and welcome to the Red Carpet. Do you want to introduce yourself a little bit to the audiences? Uh, so my name is Morgan Ermter. I'm the uh, creator of Abracadabras. Uh, my name is Griffin Cork, and I'm one of the producers and actors in Abracadabras. I love it. Do you guys want to talk about your outfits for today? Uh, for sure. Mine is brought to you by uh, a thrift store uh, maybe four or five years ago. Um, obviously, the only reason I purchased it was because of the difference in patterns. Someone had left over fabric, and they made it work, and it worked out for me. I love it. It's conscious fa fashion. <laughs> a conscious fashion. <laughs> uh, mine is composed of a bow tie that I stole from a costume, I want to say, about uh, ten years ago, and a short sleeve shirt because my mom said it was hot in Toronto. <laughs> I love it. So you guys make films and do you want to talk about the project that you're working on that's coming out for the, for the audiences to see? Yeah, so Abracadavers is kind of like a quirky, oddball, coming of age story. Anybody that sees it will immediately compare it to probably something from like Wes Anderson or Taika Waititi. That's sort of the vibe. Um, it's just kids figuring out what to do with the fact that they're developing superpowers. Uh, they don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> do you have anything to add on? No, Morgan always kind of kills it. I think it's uh, it's more so. Yeah, it's it's. I think it's very uh, topical for especially a lot of like emerging filmmakers trying to establish like who you are and your identity and what you're doing. So yeah, I think it just resonates more with a, a younger audience for sure. Love it. So how are you guys enjoying the event so far? Uh, it's been great. Our all our nominations were yesterday, so we did the we did the gala then. Um, our dear, dear friend uh, Joseph Wright got cinematography, um, so we're very stoked for him. He's also very stoked. Uh, it's been, yeah, hearing people, meeting with uh, Calgary Media Fund, or not Calgary, oh my goodness. <laughs> Canada Media Fund, uh, who supported the project, has been great. Yeah, it's... Well, I want to congratulate you guys for the nominations. Do you have anything to add on? No, I, I guess I would just kind of thank, like, Tia Webfest really runs, runs a great festival here. It's our first time attending from Alberta, uh, and it's been really instrumental in terms of, like, learning about a lot of, like, the funding sources in Canada and, like, getting to face-to-face -face with a lot of producers and, uh, I guess, Canadian Media Fund for making the second season even possible in the first place to be here. I love it. So for the work that you guys do, um, what do you wish, well, what do you hope the audience to feel after seeing our series? Um, I always say I want them to be slightly amused. It's a uh, it's 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 a comedy, but it's never kind of been like a laugh out loud ha ha comedy. We just want you to kind of like sit back and enjoy and have a pleasant time and walk away being like, man, I miss uh, growing up. Love it. Okay, one last question before I wrap this up. Yeah. Uh, how do we find you guys on social media? Um, uh, if you type in Abracadavers, uh, the name of the show, you'll find us basically everywhere. It's a weird enough name that uh, <laughs> it, it, it'll show up. Okay. Well, I'll get more specific yeah, because yeah. there's also a song called Abracadavers, uh, which sometimes comes up. On t uh, Instagram and Facebook, we're at Abracadavers, so Abra and then Cadaver. And then on Twitter, we're Abracadavers Web. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you so much for your time. I hope you enjoyed the night, and I'll see you guys around. All right. Bye. Thank you.